<laughs> hey guys, so the rice and beans challenge has begun to develop. There's a lot of people messaging me and there's someone who I know in Australia who's already doing it. So I thought I would push forward with it and possibly try to start it for Mother's Day as a way, someone gave me this idea as a way to say thank you to all the, and to a way to get behind and have empathy for all the single mums here who can only afford that. Sometimes they can't afford the beans, so sometimes it's just ugali, which is flour and water. But all of the children are here, who, not all of the children who live at Feathers Tail, but all of the children who live at Feathers Tail are here. This light's very bright. And they're gonna talk. Why don't we sit over here so we can all sit next to each other, yeah? <laughs> we were just dancing, but there's no music anymore. It's <laughs> Makandi. Ah, Makandi. And what's in Makandi? Who has the spoon so I can show everybody what is inside Makandi? <laughs> so, this is Makandi. With beans. And Makandi is basically beans and maize before maize has been turned into flour. Yeah. So it's like having rice or rice flour basically. So this is what it is. And this is what the <coughs> staff have been eating today. Difference is they have uh, oil in here and they have some green peppers I can see as well. And they have other seasoning because uh, oh. because we can afford seasoning. That's the thing. But many families they just have that <laughs> even without mafuta, without oil yeah. and without salt as well, yeah? So yes. it's just makandi and it don't taste so good, yeah? yeah? Sure. What have you eaten most of your life in Tanzania? Uh, ugali with your beans. Ugali with beans. Mm. And what's ugali? It's maize flour? Maize flour. Mixed with water? Yes. yes. Okay, and this is mostly your life what you've eaten, yes. yeah? Domi. Yes. For a long time, I know that you lived on just ugali. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. How long were you eating just ugali, ugali and salt, yes? Yeah, ugali and salt. How long were you eating ugali and salt? Oh, it's a lot of years. <laughs> a lot of years, yeah. yeah. You were very... Like you, I was growing with the ugali, just its flour and water yeah. and the beans. Just yeah. I was growing in my family. Yeah. It's just only, and we plant this, nothing we get the... Yeah, ugali and beans. Ugali and beans. Yeah. But for a long time, I remember as well, you had no beans as well. Yeah, yeah we just used ugali and salt. Just ugali and salt. Yeah. So, yeah. maize flour, uh, water, the light's really bright on this camera. Maize flour, water, and... Let me turn it down a bit. And salt is what Dominic was eating for a while. And he was quite unwell because of that when you first came to live here. You remember? Yes. But now you've got muscles. <laughs> this boy's muscles. He's getting strong now. <laughs> <laughs> Baraji, what have you ate most of your life? Ugali and beans. Ugali and beans, yeah? Yes. Do you like ugali and beans? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. No. I am busy, very, very busy at the moment. Dominic always backs me up on that. He always says that I have a big job because of him coming here to start with. <laughs> but I feel like I'm spinning lots of plates, as it were, and I'm dropping them. So for the rice and beans challenge, I just want to get everyone going with it because we need the support. The children out in the community need it as well because the money will go towards the nutrition program and the food outreach uh, for the elderly uh, are included in there as well. So let's just get going with it. I'm going to open a fundraising page. Uh, there are people already doing it out there. So just set the challenge to yourselves and to others. Seven days eating just rice and beans. You can use a little bit of oil and salt, but some days don't. So you understand what it's like for the families who can't afford that. And I would also say that I was going to do an email group, but let's just use the comments section of this video just to save me having to spin another plate sort of thing and the comment section on the Facebook as well, and we'll do it from there. So, so everybody who's watching, guys, they're going to eat rice and beans for seven days, so they know what it's like here, uh, to eat just that food. And then the money they save, they're going to donate it for all of the food deliveries we do in the community. Yes. You think it's a good idea? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> 
it's nice to get some better foods, yeah? Yeah. yeah. For sure. Okay. So, or like, yeah, like potato, like this, tonight they're eating potato. What did you have with your potato? Beans. Beans. <laughs> Beans. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, you know, change the, maybe... Maybe the day you eat potato, you must uh, use the beans like a vegetable because you have uh, you have a lot of beans. So we just change a food like a potato, maybe with beans, maybe ugali and beans, maybe something and beans, but you usually use beans. Yes, change the nutrition. carbohydrate, yeah? yeah? The carbohydrate, carbohydrate, always carbohydrate. Always carbohydrate. Carbohydrate from the ayams, carbohydrate from the ugali, carbohydrate, we get no rice. No mm. rice, no rice. So, so. But a lot of time we eat ugali with yams. Gam, ugali with yams. And one moga, I mean one vegetable, we share beans only. Yeah. Just yeah. share yeah. beans this is only. Our African life. Is and so water. Nice. If you like to drink something, just like your water. <laughs> yeah, it's just water. No soda, yeah. no. No soda. It's just water. When you are very poor, you use sometimes, uh, you know, the salt. You use uh, ugali with salt if your family is very poor, you know. Which is just Something. just flour and water mixed together, yeah. cooked, and then you dip it in the salt. You yeah? dip it in the salt, it's like tasty body. like it. And yeah, you know. And you had a lot of nutritional deficiencies mm. because of eating that way, yeah? yeah? yeah Quash your core, <laughs> yeah, big, uh, big belly. Yeah, you get a big belly, stuff like this, a thin so skin. So we get lots of our children who come new, they have the big yeah. belly, don't they? Because they've only been eating those yeah, things. Yeah, so. true. So, yeah, it's not yeah. easy. But... Here, thankfully, because of you guys supporting us, the guys can eat a varied diet. And what have you ate for your dinner today? You had today, uh, potato, beans, vegetable. And, uh, vegetable, kachumbari, local salad, local local salad. cucumber, mm. carotti and chicha. Yes. So greens, carrots, cucumber, tomato, onion, everything. And the fruit. Yeah. And Don't fruits forget. as well. And what watermelon. Did, they had watermelon, watermelon today. Oh, they had watermelon today. I thought about it. Why is that doing that? Oh, no. So, yeah, so these guys are lucky enough that they can eat better now. But they've started their lives eating that way, so they know what it's like. We've still got 600 and something kids out there and the elderly that were supporting. So they, they need our support. You know, they need it. And nutritional support is a necessity. When you can't eat enough or when you can't eat the right foods. I remember before this young man lived with me, here, I remember when you had to leave school because you couldn't see the board. You remember this? Yeah. He had bad eyes. He was dizzy, basically. And because oh, hold on, I've zoomed in on. There we go. He was dizzy. What's the dog doing? The dog's going crazy outside. He was dizzy because he couldn't see the board from uh, lack of nutrition and lack of calories as well. So he had to come home from school, even though he had a sponsor at the time. So. Yeah. Okay. So rice and beans challenge, guys. Let's just get going with it. Uh, start at your will. And I'd say, let's say over the next few months, uh, we can all do it whenever we want to. If something gets in the way of it, then you can't do it. But I'd say, let's all try to start. My goal is to try and start it by the 1st of April, but I know one group will be setting away on Mother's Day. So join whichever group you want, or start your own, whichever you prefer. Um, but let's get going with it so everyone can see what it's like to live that way. Change your attachment to food and your relationship with food. And also, at the same time, help out with the support for the nutritional support we have, because we do have a huge job here, and that's why I'm looking pretty tired uh, the last few videos, because we've got a lot going on. And everyone's praying that the rain sticks around because last year we had no rain so even the maize and beans were short because everyone's crops died so while you're on pray for some rain whilst you're eating it as well so okay god bless guys and goodbye from me and thank you for helping <laughs> thank you for helping <laughs> thank you <laughs> and goodbye from fred <laughs> and these two thank you okay bye guys god bless For flour and water to hold back their pain They plead and they cry and I am tortured with shame I heard of a man and a seed that's been sown Whispers and rumors of a village that's grown With love as its welcome, with death at its door Sees the richness of sharing with the sick